Hello, welcome to my video of Tomb Raider 2 Glitch Tutorial. Today is going to be about the deck. Relatively easy level. There is a lot of setups for everything. There is just a couple of choice to do in terms of killing enemies or not. We'll see about that right now. So let's go. You want to go to the right and perform a glitch. But what you have to know is there is two enemies coming. So there is a melee guy, which is relatively okay. But there is a flamethrower guy, which can be annoying. So if, if you are not comfortable with those ledge bugs on the setup, or for example, I don't know if you try to do that and you fail, you, you just come here, you just stay here and wait for them to come, you kill them, and then you do the setup again. Because you don't want to be torched or bothered by those two guys when you're doing that the second time. I'm pretty sure there is enough time to try it a second time. If, even maybe a third time, might be just enough. But just in security, you're likely to just kill them if you want. Generally, what you want to do is you have two ways of doing this level. One is killing those enemies, and the other is not killing them. If you kill them at the start, there is no problem. You will do the level normally, keep going. And if you don't kill them, what's going to happen is you're going to have to get back here in the, after picking up a key in this level. And the problem is you're going to have to grab a grenade launcher, which will be on the other side of this part of the deck. And if you do that and you are unlucky, the flame for a guy can torch you while you're picking up the grenade launcher and, or even before or after, it depends. I will show you in the end the cases. So, if you do everything I'm going to show you in this level relatively good, I mean, you don't lose 10 seconds or 15 seconds stumbling or missing the item clip or whatever, then you will have 99% chance that the flamethrower guy won't troll you. There is still a chance, but it's really small. If you are slow to do the level or do mistakes or whatever, I recommend killing the flamethrower guy. So I'm going to avoid killing him. Well, I'm going to first show you the two setups and then I'm going to redo it uh, without killing them so I can show you the end when we're here. So there is two ways of doing the ledge bug. The first way is doing, is doing it to the right. So to do that, you jump right here to the right of the slope against the wall. You roll, sidestep left three times, back twist, grab, and you're good. So just one other time, up against the wall, you roll, one, two, three, back twist, and you grab. Pretty simple. And the left side, well, pretty simple. It's exactly the same, actually. Except that you don't need to slide down the slope. You will just do it here. One, two, three. Back twist and do it. So this is exactly the same, except it's a bit faster. It's a bit more risky. Not really risky, but you can fail it for the simple reason that uh, I'm going to show you. One, two, three. So, for example, if I'm aiming like this, it will work. But if I'm slightly going left like this, and I do my backflip, that can happen. So you have to be careful about that. When you do the setup, just one, two, three. You go a bit to the left like this, and then you do your back twist. Not too much, of course, because if you do too much, she won't glitch up. But this is permissive enough. I mean, look at this. One, two, three. Like this. This is really permissive. As long as you don't really go diagonally, it will work. So it's a bit faster because you don't slide down. So that's pretty much it. So let's do that. One, two, three. And we're good. And we're gonna keep going, doing the second ledge bug, which have two setups too. One which is faster, I'm gonna still show you the both of them. So the slow one is you slide on the slope like this, roll, 
jump to time, simple jumps, and back twist, and grab, and it works. So fairly easy, roll, jump, jump, back twist, and do it. And the other way is simple too. So you want to go slide down the slope too. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do, you're going to press back and immediately roll. Why am I saying immediately? Because if I just back, wait and roll, and then do a back twist, it won't work. But if I roll immediately, position will be different and she will glitch up. So you just have to be careful about that. It's a bit faster, but you can fail it if you don't listen what I'm saying. So that's it. Um, and one last thing you need to know is that when you're coming from this place, you want to jump on the left of a slope. Why? It doesn't have to do with uh, the slope here that you can climb or whatever. You, you can do this glitch everywhere with the same setups. But if you jump to the left, you will be able to perform a glitch which will save a bit of time on the next slope. So like I say, go on the left. Oops, sorry. Slide down, back roll, up. And you good. And then you're gonna have two, two way of doing the next one. This is not a ledge bug. So you can just do like this and grab, climb the normal way. So nothing special. Or you can perform a glitch. I don't exactly know how it's called. I'm not even sure it has a name. But it's a pretty cool one that saved one second, maybe two, depending how you do it. And there is a pretty as a uh, there is a pretty easy setup for it. Sorry. So what you just do is you just sidestep left and Laro will stick to the left. That's why I'm that's why I said you need to be on the left of the slope in the previous one. Because if you're not, you will have to sidestep twice, which is slow. So that's it. Uh, you go against the slope, whatever you want, as long as you just press forward and not the other directions. Sidestep left once. She will move slightly to the left. And you're going to jump forward. And when you be close to the edge, you're going to press roll. And that will happen. You will glitch up kind of. So that's pretty much it for it. This is pretty simple. Side step left, go forward, side step left, uh, jump forward, hold roll, and that's it. As the same way as Opera House first glitch, the first corner bug, you can avoid the roll animation in the end by just letting go of the roll button at the right time. So like in Opera, I don't exactly know the right moment. I can't really say to you, that's it with a screenshot or whatever. Just watch my inputs and this is permissive enough. So you, that's kind of easy. So anyway, and it's still faster than climbing. So anyway, it's okay. So look at my inputs. Oops, well I failed it, so <laughs> don't don't watch my inputs here. <laughs> watch my input for this one. And you keep going. And you're gonna prepare your auto ammo. Your auto pistol, sorry. Because you're gonna perform an item clip. And then you do this sequence I'm doing. To make the item glitch, the fast version of the item glitch, really consistent, so that's the best way of doing it. So I'm gonna save here, I'm gonna show you the slow way first. So, slow way is to do your weights one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you go. You wanna, you want to outspeed him by doing running jumps because your objective is to glitch up here and at this left wall so in order to do that you're gonna make him go close to the to the left wall how do you do that so you outspeed him 
and you're just gonna roar or back twist or whatever and you will have to jump you will, you will have to jump above him you will have to do back twist above him and shoot him but there's a couple of things you need to know so if you're too much against the wall like this this is unlikely to work this way so why why does that work first really important thing if you're facing left like this and do the back twist the guy is going to be the wrong way because the guy is turning the way Lara is going this is something a lot of people don't understand and that's really important to do those kind of item clip where you have to do jump over a guy or whatever so like so if i go right for example like this it would go against the wall i want so this is important thing to know and if you jump right in the middle it will depend sometimes we'll go left sometimes we'll go right depending of you can't be exactly straight to him so you'll be either slightly left or slightly right so this is depend how exactly you are <clears throat> so you just jump to the right you don't of you of course don't want to do something like this <laughs> because it's it can mess up a bit the rng but generally you just slightly go right like this and you will go this way and it will be good uh what else do i want to say yeah okay yeah i need to load <coughs> so if you are too much to the left against the wall like this and try to do it that will happen and it won't be good you don't want to be stuck to the wall when you're waiting for him you want to let some space between you and the wall like this and then you will have space to go right and make it in the right spot and you're gonna do that with guns and you're gonna shoot him while uh, while doing the backflip uh, the backflip the jump twist sorry so you just roll curve oh, so this is fairly easy you just you, you don't really care about when you press the gun button you just want to press the gun button while Lara is having her twist animation and it will work it has a chance to fail if Lara misses a shot it doesn't happen Lara doesn't miss shot that often and even if she missed a shot, it can still work. So this is like, you have to be really lucky. So you have the missing shot and the bad position. But if you're not confident, you can just save. So like this, like this, and the time will be in the right spot. So as I did a slow setup, I can't pick up the, we the weapon, the flare pack immediately because if I do, the guy will annoy me and stop me from doing the glitch. But uh -huh. so you will have to kill him. So if you do the slow way, you will need a couple of extra weapon that you're gonna take in diving area generally. And then you do ever offshore rig item clip version, as I showed in my tutorial. So the quick or the slow one. I always do the quick one, so that's it. You don't want the item clip. You, you don't want the item to drop here, because if that happens, there is a risk that when you glitch up like this, you sl you slide on this way, and you don't want that to happen, of course. And the quick and the quickest way to do the item clip is the same thing, except you're gonna be you're gonna do it earlier, and you're gonna do everything like the six shots before killing him the position the back twist and external you're gonna do all of this in two jumps so this is what it looks like so one two three four five six turn up and you will be able to immediately pick up the item and the guy will be too far away to annoy you so you will save a couple of seconds and ammo because you won't have to kill this guy so I'm gonna show you again. So one jump here, and once you pass the door, you're gonna do a um, a back a back twist, 
a jump twist and you're gonna count six shots one two three four five six you're gonna turn after the six shots slightly and you're gonna do the end of the glitch so here i explained so i had to pause so it messed up my pathing not my pathing but my the way i'm used to do it because i don't save here and i don't post here in the run so it failed but i'm gonna explain it it will work if you don't pause of course one two three four five six turn up by this take the item and do the clip and you're gonna jump here so that's the main things and prepare a flare here so that's the main things you need to know about this item glitch and then there is a sequence like this so what i do is oops you follow my sequence and when you land you count one two three four and you grab and you really do it and if you try my sequence or another one it doesn't matter and you fail it like this for example you backflip go against the wall do a wall jump and it will work or what you can do also is this you can just be stuck to the wall, stuck against this edge this ledge and do a standing jump so here oh my god bad save so you do what you want if you want to do a slightly quicker strat next jump you're gonna have to, to be on the right of this tile the quickest way will be that oops not that <laughs> Will be that so this is simple so what i do is when you turn left until a moment laura has a step on like this this is my not visual but this is my point where i start changing key so what i do is i press left so lara turn and right before hearing that noise I press immediately forward and I jump of course because if I don't jump nothing is going to happen so I do that again up and I just land on the key so that's pretty easy and if you don't want to do that because you're not used to when you do those kind of stuff when you try you can just roll and do jump forward and if you go a bit to the left of this tile and roll you will land directly on the key uh -huh. so this is, this is completely your choice oh my god i want to save not load and then there is a cool sequence going down there so a lot of people do different sequences they do whatever they want but i have i have a sequence which is easy and is the fastest one possible well it's maybe not the fastest but it's the fastest one for rta because you don't have to take a med and you use only two flare i think and you learn perfectly to get the grenade launcher this is, this is a one of the best way of going down the deck if you have no one you can you can still do it don't worry so first if you are aiming straight like this you will have to curve a bit like if you do a curve to the left or right whatever you will be able to do another running jump here but if you just do a running jump here you will fall down like this so you just have to curve a bit your first running jump and if you're already like this because you did my strats you just do this and then you're gonna grab and do a flat cancel and then you're gonna count three jumps uh three step and jump well you jump you need to jump at the first step so you press jump at the second step only of course uh, this, this is gonna be better when you're gonna, gonna ah, 
one, two, three, when I'm going to show it. So you do it, this, grab, flag console, one, two, three. Oops, of course it doesn't work. <laughs> grab one two three and you're going to be right on the slope to keep going your sequence so one sec one second grab one two three up i'm curving a bit in the end of this of, a, of this jump because i want to be sure to land on the slope you don't need it, but it's an assurance that in case you miss count in the step or you jump a couple of frames too early or too late, this will make the jump always happen. So, up, another rain jump, one, two, three, up, you prepare another flag console, you grab again, do another flag console, do another running jump roll and fall here get the granite launcher uh -huh. so i'm gonna do it again so the first two you know them so as you can see if you do it if you don't curve that can happen one two three and you want to prepare another flare to do another flag console. Do another jump, grab, flare console, running jump, roll, roll again, grab, standing jump, roll, and you'll immediately fall on the thing. <coughs> One last time. Up, up. And as you can see, there is no flame for a guy coming here. So it should be, it's because I was relatively fast, even if I showed you a couple of things. I started on reload, so genius, so I only kept the fast, the fastest, uh, the fastest things, and then saved. So that's why nothing bad happened but really if you're a bit slower than what i do you just want to kill a flame for a guy at the start and if you get a bad rng you're gonna be torch here or whatever so as you can see there is a lot of time if you do it fast the melee guy can be trouble hitting you a couple of times but generally okay you won't need to take your med if you do everything right um, so what what is the way of, of spotting if a flamethrower is closed or not? So you do the sequence. And what's going to happen is when you're here, you want to hear if a flamethrower is closed. The way to hear that is you need to hear the sound of flamethrowers. Flamethrowers does a particular, a particular sound. I'm going to kill the guy. Where is he? Oops. Listen to this sound. This is this sound you want to hear. I don't know if you had it really good here, but I'm gonna redo it. Of course, it doesn't do it here. Anyway, there is a guy on the other. S there is a guy here, close, I think. No, okay, never mind. It's not here. This is not the right spot. Anyway. Listen to the guy. Of course, he's far away. Listen to his song. 
So this is the sound of a flare for, flame for a guy being close. If it's far away, you won't be able to hear that sound. This is your way to know if you need to save or not. If you don't hear that, you don't save and you're fine. If you hear it, you can even try without saving and pray. It's kind of still work, but it's more risky. And or you can just stay up a couple of time and wait for him to see him and kill him as you as you want. Or you can save and try to go for it. And if it doesn't work, you will have to kill him. So that's a way of knowing if a flamethrower is close or not. Anyway, so you pick up the grenade launcher. And then you have a choice. You prepare your M16 and a flare if you want to do the next flare console incoming. So this is the way of doing the flare console. So this is pretty tricky. If you look at my inputs, I press a lot of button. Like I press flare, walk jump, I get out of the guns and I shoot immediately. So there is a lot of thing to press. I'm just gonna explain quickly. So you just prep flare console, do walk jump, and while doing the walk jump, you press the draw weapon button. If you don't press immediately the draw weapon button, that will happen. Oops, uh, because I'm used to, I still taught it, sorry. If you press it after you start doing the jump, that will happen. So this is really important that you press the draw weapon button immediately after you flare console. So one last time. Flare, walk, draw weapon, and shoot. And if you do that, there is no chance of being torched. Except if you got the 1 on 1000 times RNG, but it, it's never happened. And if you don't want to flare, you just prepare your M16, you jump, wait for stumble, and you keep running. You can do a running jump if you are really far, or you can do the same way with a walk jump like this. And this this one works 100% of the time. So where do you need to jump? You need to jump when you are on this tile. If you jump before that, that would work. As you can see, this is pretty close. So you want to jump at the very last tile. And the sequence from the grenade launcher pickup is just you do running jumps and if you just do running jumps you will finish on the last tile like here and you will be able to land here and then you kill those two guys use a key and you finish your level so this is short level you will realize practicing it but it's not too hard but just a couple of things you have to be careful and prepare planning like if you kill the guy how to spot the guy uh, how to do the item glitch things that are not really hard really nothing is hard in this level but you just have to practice and know the situations and what can happen so that's it for this video uh, next time is going to be tibet it will be a freaking long video. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.